Hi, I've been asked to uh, show you my favourite tree, which actually, to be honest, I've found really difficult to pick a favourite tree. Uh, I happen to live in Chumagna and we're surrounded by rivers and trees and just so many wonderful bits of woodland and woodland walks. But during lockdown, I found that I kept being drawn back to this tree behind me, which is right in the middle of Chumagna. It's right by Winford Brook. Um, and in a funny way, it's one I've walked past. I mean, I've lived here for 30 years. So, and only this year have I noticed this tree. It's a white beam. And the strange thing about it I noticed was that from a certain angle, and it has to be from the certain angle, but effectively, you can just photograph this tree against the skyline. At the minute, it's a bit dull, but on a beautiful sunny day, it is the most stunning tree and it's, it's an iconic image of a tree. So what I've started doing, and I've only just started, it's now near the end of September, and I began uh, in June, I'm recording this tree. And by photographing it from the same spot every week or how often, um, I want to then run those images together and see this tree change. Um, and that's the amazing thing about trees, they are constantly evolving. Every time I go for a walk I notice new things. I mean, if it's a, uh, you know, either they get nuts, the other seeds about, you know, appearing, leaves about to drop. I just love the, the constant variety. Uh, the sounds, the sounds of the wind in the trees. And each tree, I suppose it's a bit stupid to say this, is, is a bit of a character in itself. And the more you begin to look at them, the texture of the bark, I mean, the bark on this one, <laughs> oh, let's go up close to my tree. This is my tree. <laughs> and that's the beautiful thing. We, you can't own a tree. You can love a tree. You can have a relationship with a tree. But this bark, this beautiful, it's got a, a wonderful subtle bend in it, this trunk. I've actually been photographing lots of trees in the last five months because I've had no work. So uh, I've had the pleasure, the real joy. Uh, you know, I'm now in my nearly mid-sixties and it's the first time in my life I've really got to look closely at nature and how it changes daily. Different light, different seasons, and with time there's something timeless and, I don't know, just so beautifully spiritual, I think, about trees.